Hi Class 101, today is Tuesday, March 31st, and we are working on a book called Zoe and Sophia in New York, or sorry, Zoe Sophia in New York, not Zoe and. Um, okay, so please go ahead and watch that video if you haven't already and read that book before you come here. I do want you to encourage you, if you haven't read it yet and you are going to right now, pause the video at 2.10, okay? You are going to read a letter in the very first uh, couple minutes, those two minutes, and I want you to pause the video and brainstorm, try to think about what is going to happen in the rest of the book. You can write down some ideas, I would love to see those, if you already completed the video and the reading, don't worry about it. You can still do this and say like, you know, at the beginning when I had read the letter, I thought the book was going to be about this, this, and this, whatever you thought. Because it's kind of, it starts off in a very interesting manner. So if you haven't already, please go and watch the video and read the book. If you have already, you are ready to start our lesson for the day. So, we are working on a summary book report um, for this book. I'm not going to go through the whole book with you like I did for the past two ones. I'm going to do the first half or so with you, and then I wanna see how you guys write on that second half without having me going over it with you. So obviously the book starts out with a letter from DP to ZS, right? And it's kind of quite um, mysterious. You know, it's DP, Venice, Italy, September 22nd. Like, who is DP writing from Venice, you know, to dear ZS? Who's ZS, right? So you're kind of like, okay, if you're smart, you are like, oh, ZS, the book is called Zoe Sophia in New York. So ZS is probably Zoe, right? Then they of course talked to, I'm coming to, I'm coming to New York. I arrive on Thursday night, you know, and talk about what is happening a little bit. Um, and then we got introduced to um, the scarab, which is a small stone that is carved or was carved by ancient Egyptians in the shape of a beetle. So just a, it's pretty much a stone that looks like a beetle, right? And the person who is writing is um, DP, is talking about how they must do research for their new book, right? Enchanted Nile, Egyptian Magic in Victorian England, 1937 to 1901. So you're getting some ideas here. You're like, okay. So we're learning a little bit about Egyptian history, it seems like. And this person, DP, is obviously a writer, right? So, excuse me. And then the end, the last sentence in the letter is, I'm determined to find them. Interested in accompanying me on a little detective work. Um, so, oh, sorry, that wasn't the last sentence, but that's one of the last sentences. Um, and you're like, okay, so now I have the idea, right, that this might be a detective story. And then, um, I'm counting on you to be at my reading on Monday. I'm also looking forward to seeing the sights of my beloved old New York with you in town. Lovingly, DP. So in that first, in those first two minutes, we get introduced to DP and ZS. And what do we know about either character? ZS is in New York. That's really all that we know, right? DP is in Venice right now, um, but is coming to New York, and she is a writer. And they are going to be doing a little detective work, okay? And this detective work is going to involve some kind of Egyptian history, and you know something involving Egyptian history and artifacts. So um, we then get introduced to our main character, Zoe Sophia, who is nine years old, right? 
She lives on the Upper West Side in New York. We learned that she lives in the Antwerp. And her favorite color is purple. So in that first little bit after the letter, we are getting introduced to Zoe Sophia and getting to know a little bit about her, our main character. Our other main character is Dorothy Pomander. That is who we get introduced to next. So in that, we find out is Zoe's great aunt. And she's a famous writer in Venice. So, okay, mystery solved. DP is Dorothy Pomander, and it's Zoe's great aunt. We already knew that she's probably a writer, and but she's a famous writer, and we already knew that she was in Venice. So, that was just in the beginning, um, kind of a little preview or uh, a little introduction on our characters, right? So, Zoe, Dorothy, then we start to go into the week. And we start off on Thursday, right? And this, um, we get introduced to where Zoe Sophia goes to school. The Wildendorf School for Exceptionally Curious. Sounds like a cool school to me. But we see, and we kind of get introduced to some of her friends, how she gets to school by bus, you know, just certain little things. And what you can tell when you're reading this or what you should be able to tell is that Zoe is obviously very curious, right? She is like a little detective. Um, she even said, you know, I live in New York, but at heart, I'm an explorer. You know, she wants to explore the world. She wants to learn new things and probably, you know, just learn new cultures learn about history, all of those type of things. She's a learner. So she's, she seems like a very bright girl. So then she goes on to ballet class. And in both of these times in, the, um, in school and in ballet, we kind of get introduced to also like the teacher and the ballet instructor and some little details about them, some sub characters. They're not main characters, but um, we get introduced to Blossom, and she is Jamaican, obviously, and she cooks dinner, right, for when Dorothy arrives, um, and Tibber comes from next door, he lives in 7B, joins them for dinner, and that's when the card reading happens, right? And if you don't know about, like, those card readings, they're kind of, um, they're interesting. They are certain people really like them. Some people don't care about them. Um, in this case, it just kind of was a, a fun little thing for them to do. And it was a point in the book where they knew that, okay, you know, the, um, the pink Phoenix, sorry, the pink Phoenix, it's something that we got to do, you know, we got to focus on that pink phoenix. And then Friday comes along and they go to the Met. And the Met is one of the biggest and probably um, like most admired um, museums in the world. Like people travel all over the world to go to New York, to go to the Metropolitan um, Art Museum. It's huge. It has a lot of great art, a lot of great exhibits, um, just one of the world's best museums. So um, they went to the Egyptian wing, right? Because we're learning about Egyptian history. And they um, saw the pink phoenix. And after that, they were like, we need to try to find this journal, right? And I am going to stop when they are heading to, where are they heading next? Do you remember? Penguin House. So I want you to pick up from there. I kind of went through the book and summarized it a little bit. We got our main characters that we were introduced to, Zoe Sophia, Dorothy Pomander, where they live, what they do, um, you know, and what was happening Thursday and Friday leading up to the climax of this book. So I want you guys to follow from there and go ahead and finish summarizing this book on your own. Because I feel like on the past two lessons, I just talked and talked and talked. And I want you 
to be able to kind of talk the same way I'm doing. So read through, talk as if we're in class, and you know, have your idea, ideas and read them aloud. And yeah, do your book report and I can't wait to read them guys. Okay, have a great day. See you guys soon, bye.